Hey everybody, it is Tuesday. I'm back from vacation. Thank you for patiently waiting and giving me a couple weeks off. It's time to get back to drawing and now that things are starting to slowly get back to normal, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm still working from home, staying it safe, playing it safe, I should say. Uh, a lot of you are doing the same thing. A lot of you are not back to school yet. Some of you are. So we're going to do our drawing shows on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. Okay, Tuesdays and Thursdays, same time, noon Eastern time, and uh, we'll we'll keep uh, having some fun, learning things as we're still getting through this time and staying safe and making the most of our time at home. And I know some of my friends out there are going to school every other day. Some are not going at all. Some are fully back. So it's a whole different thing. Uh, same thing with work. Our work schedule is still a little bit uh, happening from home. You'll notice that. Uh, I don't have the iPad today. No, I'm gonna have to get it back for Thursday. I don't have it with me today, but that means I'm just gonna shift back to some, uh, I guess you can call them old school, but we're still using pen and paper today, right? So I have my new box of crayons that my friends Amanda and David and Michael got me. And we are going to do some marker and some crayons and some paper today not the iPad, so maybe I'll be drawn more like you do at home. So while you're getting your materials together, I'm going to start coloring in my uh, my logo here. Just had to redo this because I didn't have the iPad. So get your stuff together and we will start drawing a race car. Today, Kyle Busch's race car at Daytona. Did you know that we're racing Daytona this weekend? but not the oval. We're racing the road course. The left and right turns, that's right. It's gonna be pretty crazy. I can't wait to watch it. I've been dreaming about them racing on that track for a long time. I race it on my uh, iRacing simulator all the time. And I know that some drivers are out there practicing on iRacing so that they can be prepared for what is sure to be an exciting race on Sunday from Daytona. Once again, if you're just joining me, I'm glad to be back. I was on a two-week vacation, and uh, I'm glad to be back here coloring with you. Let's see who's out there before I keep going. We'll get jump into drawing. I don't need to finish this. I know you're anxious to draw some race cars, as am I. Let's see who's out there. Good to see you all again. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you've just joined us for the first time, I'm Boris. And I figured that since we're, a lot of us are at home, staying safe, why not do something to pass the time and learn something and have some fun in the process? And that is drawing some race cars. Because almost everybody out there loves race cars, right? So let's get started. What do you say? I am going to start with a new page. And we're going to draw Kyle Busch's race car at Daytona. One of my favorite things that I love about road courses is the air that the cars catch over the bumps. They, they swing those cars around and fly over those, sometimes they're rumble strips, sometimes they're curbs, but they get the tire up off the ground. That's what we're going to draw today, okay? So I want you to start with the ground, kind of like this. I'm going to draw a line like that, okay? And draw your curb over here. Alright, so we've got our ground level, and then we've got our curb. Now they have something called turtles that pump that are uh, a little taller on the inner curb. We'll draw a double, a double curb over here and we'll color that turtle blue. There you go. See what I did there? Just did the racetrack and did a curb. That's how we'll get started today, okay? I'm still loading up the comments here to see who's out there, who's watching, who's having fun. We're having a good time here. A lot of people out there. Glad to be back. Oh yeah. There's Justin and Lynn and Ryan. There's Susan and Matthew. Devin's back. Good to see you. There's Gavin. There's Daniel. All right. Steve, Michael, Kevin, all sorts of people watching. I appreciate it. Let's jump back in to some drawing. All right, 
now it's time to draw that race car. We're going to draw a front view, okay? But here's what we're going to do. The, the angle of the car needs to be a little bit tilted because it's, Kyle Busch is up in the air, wheeling that Camry over those curbs. You just hit a curb at Daytona at the road course. So what you want to do is you want to draw an angle kind of like this. Don't draw the same angle as the road. We want it to be angled upward like this. Okay, because we're going to draw that wheel and tire off the ground. Going crazy at Daytona. Alright, so get you a line just about like that. You make a wedge kind of like a carrot, but you don't connect them. See what I mean? See how it's not parallel? Remember, parallel lines run side by side and never touch. Well, guess what? These lines are not parallel because they would eventually touch if I kept going. Right? Okay. Next, I want you to draw two lines up from that line on either side. Okay? Two lines up. And you can see my technique here. I kind of feather it. I kind of draw like this. And it makes it a little rough, a little more sketchy. That's my style. That's what I like. If you like perfect lines and you don't like that, you can just keep it held down on the paper and do your best to make it in the, in the, in the direction you want it to go. Okay? A lot of people out there watching. Good to see you all. Cody's out there. Juan's out there. Benny, Gary, Sashi, Tim. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of people out here watching, don't we? We're drawing Kyle Busch's car now. Keep it coming. All right, here we go. We're going to make this look a little bit like a loaf of bread in a second, okay? But first, I want you to finish the side. We're going to see a little bit of the side, so I want you to do a really skinny U over here like this. And actually, it's going to be more like a candy cane, like that, okay? It's got a little hook on it. Because what I want you to do is show Kyle Busch turning the car to the left. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw about half of the tire sticking out like this. We're going to draw the letter C over here, okay? See how I did the letter C? That's his right front tire turning to the left so it's sticking out of the bodywork so that we can see it. Make sure it's touching the ground because he needs a nice amount of grip to get around those turns. Alright, there he goes. Now there's two front tires, aren't there? So as you're finishing that one, I'm going to start on the other one. I'll give you a second while I read some comments. Dory's out there. A lot of people watching. There's Buck and Maria and Ray. Michael and Diana. Appreciate everybody watching all the comments on the retweets and the thumbs up and the hearts. Glad to be back drawing with you today. Okay. I'm wearing my 2019 shirt, Joe Gibbs Racing. You can get this at shopjgr.com, by the way. Beautiful shirt that highlights all of our success last year, including the championship that we won for JD. All right, let's get that other tire. This is his left front, but here's the deal. I want you to leave some space between the curbs and the tire. It's up in the air, right? So at the bottom, I want you to leave some air down here. Leave some breathing room and some space. See that? Oh, yeah. We're just going to have it sticking out there just a little bit to show how much he's turning that wheel to get around that road course. And I'm actually just going to fill this in in black because it's a tire, dark rubber, so I can just fill that in. Over here I can do basically the same thing. Filling it in. This one's on the road. The other one is not. All right. Looking good. All right. There's Alex. People watching from all over the world. I'm in North Carolina. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. Next, we need to round up this nose, make it a little more aerodynamic, kind of make it look like a loaf of bread, okay? So I round it, and then I just follow it along the top, over to the other side, on the other side of the wheel. Then I'm going to curve it back down, okay? See what I mean about a loaf of bread? Kind of has that curb sides to it. You can just slice this thing and make yourself a sandwich, don't you think? All right. So we can see the front of the car and just a little tiny bit of the side. Just a little bit. Next, we need the roof. Are you ready? I'll let you finish that bread shape. The reason I call it a bread shape is this. 
you and I, we're the same, right? You can draw, I can draw. You may not think you can draw, but I promise you, you can. And the way you can do it is you can look at something like a race car and you can find other shapes that are much more simple to draw and piece them together. Like we had the letter C for the tire. You do letter C, I know you know how to draw a letter C. Turned into a tire. The nose, it looks complicated, but just make it like a loaf of bread. You can draw a loaf of bread and it turns into the nose of a race car. So that's what we're doing here today. That's the secret. Next, we need the roof, and the roof needs to angle like a house, but it's not coming to a point. So we're going to angle it up like this. Draw one angle like that, and I'll draw another angle at the back. And then we'll connect them here on the top. And by the way, you don't have to draw with a marker. You can if you want to. Or you can draw with pencils or colored pencils or crayons or paint or whatever you want. Next, about where our little candy cane shape is up here, I want you to draw another line. That's going to be our windshield. So just draw that line up there like that. And then connect it at the top and leave some room for the roof. Okay? By the way, if I'm going too fast or too slow, you can always watch the replay. Just do as well as you can now and then you can pause it later and and uh, fast forward, whatever you need to do. A lot of our replays are on YouTube too, so you can always go back there and check them out. Daniel's out in South Carolina. Okay, good, having fun. Who else is out there? Oh, Susie's up by Watkins Glen. I hate we're not racing there, but we'll see you next year, Susie. Thank you for watching. There's Bo out there and Craig, Lakota. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Len is in Tennessee. Gavin's in Virginia Beach. Cody is in Akron, Ohio. All right. I have some friends out there. Next, we need the spoiler. It's just going to be peeking out over here like this. It's going to be peeking out. Get that big old spoiler back there. See it? A little angle I put on there. Oh, yeah. Looking good. All right. Make sure that's straight on your screen there. All right, now we need a window on the side. So what I want you to do is draw another line just like that. And then kind of curve it and connect it. And I'm going to fill that in in black as well. It's okay that we don't have all the detail. You can't really see it because it's hidden there by the angle that we're drawing at. All right. It's looking pretty good. Don't forget to get that rear wheel in there. It's right back here. And it's going to be off the ground a little bit too. Kyle has both left sides off the ground. There it is. There's the rear wheel. Just a little shadow back there hanging out. Off the ground a bit. Hopping those curbs. Having fun. It's got to be a fun track to drive, don't you think? Oh, we got Divino out in the Philippines. People from all over the world watching today. I really appreciate you tuning in. Okay, now... It is time to draw the nose of our Camry. Very important here. It's an aggressive front end. It's a very fast and stylish looking car. Let's see if I have any examples around here. Hmm, where'd all my examples go? Let's see, I gotta look at the front of this car. Let me find one here. All right, oh, here's one. I got Martin Truex's Bass Pro Shops Camry here. There's a look at, look at the front of it. See that? Oh yeah. Beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to look at that. It always helps to have a little model to look at when you're drawing. I'm going to start with the Toyota logo so it gives us a center point and that's going to go right about here. Okay, now we have a center point for our Toyota logo. You can draw that if you want to. Or at least draw just a circle, even if you don't fill it in yet. That'll at least tell us where we need to draw. Next there's a line under that and then a line that goes up from either end, okay? A little bracket like that. Now once we draw the top of that line, that's going to show us where to put our headlights, so it's very important to get this right, okay? Of course, you can draw whichever car you want to draw, but this is what I'm choosing to draw today, is our Camry, since we race these. And this is going to angle all the way up, 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 and it's going to become the tip of our headlight over here. Just about like that. So give me a line very much like that on both sides, okay? 
right. Looking good. All right. Next, it's kind of like a knife blade. Watch this for the headlight. Watch how I draw it like that and then draw it like this. See how it kind of looks like a steak knife? Something you might use to cut your dinner with? That's one of the secrets, the design secrets, that these designers use to make this car look so aggressive and so good. And it's pretty fast on the track, too. All right, Jeff is out there, Munish is out there, Eduardo. Yeah, we're, we're Gavin says he's waiting on Kyle to win a race. So are we. We think he's close. We think it'll be soon here. Okay. Next, we need another spike. So this line needs to kick back in the other direction, like this. Just another secret to how cool those Camrys look on the track. All right. Yeah. I like that. Looking pretty good, if you ask me. Next, we're going to draw a line to make our headlight like this. There we go. Following along? Like I said, you can always watch the replays if this is your first time and it's a little too complicated for you, but give it your best shot and you can always try again, you know? You're going to try a second time if, if this is just practice. All right. One more line up here goes something like this. Okay. And it goes over the top like that. All right, the well, Camry's looking pretty good if you ask me. Couple more lines over here. On the street car, these are air intakes and cool design features. On the race car, they're just part of the decal design. Those are gonna be filled in in black as well, so I'll fill mine in while you're catching up. Sometimes filling in black can take the longest, or any color. So you can save it towards the end if you need to. And you know one of the best things about drawing? Is that you now, after you finish your drawings, you can give them as gifts to people. Maybe mom and dad or brother and sister or grandparents or just your friends that you know or maybe a stranger that needs a little pick-me-up for a good day. That's one of the cool things here. Thank you, Gavin, for the compliments and all the comments you all are sending and all the hearts. All right. Next, let's go to the windshield. We're almost done here. It's almost time to start coloring in. We're going to add these lines in here in this windshield. Those are bars to keep Kyle and the driver safe. You can also draw kind of a circle up here for Kyle's helmet. We're not going to be able to see inside the car too much today, but at least we know it's there. All right, now on the headlights, this is a very fun part. Because if you're like me, you like to scribble and doodle, right? Well, the headlight is where we can scribble and doodle all day on this car. And it'll make it look like glass and lenses and plastic and reflectors. It really doesn't matter how you do it. Do it whichever way you want to do it. Just add some scribbles in there. And it looks like a headlight decal, doesn't it? All right, while you're finishing up, I'm going to finish in, fill in the black in, and then I'm going to pull out my crayons. And we're going to start coloring. If you don't have anything to color with, that's okay. Just save it for later. Go get some, or maybe you'll save up some money and get some for yourself or whatever, but it's okay to have a black and white drawing for now. All right. Looking good. By the way, you know we got Darlington coming up. Does anybody know what happens at Darlington? Who can tell me why Darlington is special? Has something to do with our with all the race cars do something special at Darlington. All right. Look at that. Look how quickly that turned into Kyle Busch's race car. Now, you have a template made. So if you don't want to draw Kyle's car, you can color in whichever color you want. I'm going to stick with Kyle's car. And we're going to color in an M&M's Camry, okay? All right, there's Diane just joined us. Robert, a lot of people, Larry, Sandrex, Jason, all sorts of people watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am going to get my colors out here. 
and we're going to start coloring while you finish up your drawing. All right, I'm going to pull up a picture of Kyle Busch's race car just so I make sure that I get it right. I'm going to start with a blue color here. Let's see what the perfect blue would be. All right. Come over here. I'm going to draw that blue M&M &M on the hood. Just going to make a circle at first. Save that blue. Pull out the orange. I'm going to put orange M&M &M over here. Perfect. Then I'm going to get a red. Let me make sure I get the right red here. It's been a long time since I've colored with crayons. Alright, we're going to do a lot of red up on the hood up here. I might need some more blue actually too. Alright, a lot of red up there. Let me finish filling in the blue over here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of making it look how I want it to look. We're also going to need yellow because there's a lot of yellow on Kyle Busch's car. Let's make sure we get that yellow out. Now I'm just going to color in, okay? I'm not going to put the M's on there. He's going so fast you can't even see him. And here's, here's a secret to making things look good when, they're, when you're coloring. You, of course, can color however you want, but I like to put all the lines in the same direction. So see how I'm going left to right on all these lines? To me, that just makes it look really cool, makes it look clean, and actually, to me, makes it look fast because the lines are kind of like speed lines. Yeah. See that? Got the red, blue done. Now let's go to the red. All right. Now let's go to the orange. Oh, put my orange back. I need that orange. Why did I put it back? There we go. Some orange in there. Oh yeah. This is looking so good. How's yours looking? Mine. I'm really happy with mine. Okay. Let's get some yellow. Now Kyle Busch's yellow is a little bit of an orangey yellow. So if you need to add a little bit of orange in there just to make it look a little more, do very lightly and put some orange in there and it'll come together. Don't push hard on it. You want it to be a mix of yellow and orange. All right. Ooh, I like this. It's been a long time since I colored with some crowns, and I'm really liking it. Mix some orange in there. All right. How about that? Well, I'm going to color this turtle bump over here blue. Kind of looks like a, a turtle shell. That's why they call it that. And then I'm going to color the curb over here white and red. And then I need to see if I have gray. I don't know if I have gray. I do. 24 colors in this set. I'm, I'm liking that. So at the bottom, I'm going to just fill in some gray to make it look like the racetrack. How's yours coming along? I hope when you're done that you'll take a picture of it or a screenshot or whatever and post it in the comments so I can see it. I'll do some show and tell next episode. And if you're just joining us, we're not going to be able to draw every day anymore because things are getting back to normal with work and school, but we're going to do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays, okay? So join me on Tuesdays and Thursdays for some drawing. I'm going to fill in that spoiler in gray. I'm going to put some gray in the wheels and in the windshield. It's going to be kind of scribbly in the windshield because it's, it's a special kind of plastic glass that won't break. We can put all sorts of colors up there. There we go. And then if you want a light blue, maybe fill the sky in over there. Like this. Oh yeah, I'm going to give it some curve just to make it look wild. Whew, looking good. We're almost done with Kyle Busch's Camry Racing at Daytona in the road course, which is what's happening this weekend. I hope you're going to watch. I'll be watching. I wish I could be there, but we're playing it safe, staying home, staying healthy, staying safe, and uh, 
letting the drivers race out there. You see what I did here to color a lot of space? I held the crown on its side. I really used it up there. Well, that's it for today. I hope you had a good time drawing. If you're not done, keep going. Even though I'm done, you can keep going. I'm going to add some more colors in here. I'm going to grab a little purple. Where's my purple? There's my purple. Just to darken up the sky a little bit. It's like I'm drawing behind my head on your screen, aren't I? There we go. Just adding some more color, just to give it some more feeling and some more excitement. I don't have enough green in here. I might even throw some green in there. To me, that just gives you a burst of color that gives you a burst of excitement. Some green over here. Maybe he kicked up some grass on this lap. There we go. See how that really brings it to life? The final thing you're going to do is you're going to sign it. I have a really thick marker, so I'm going to have to sign a thick signature, but here we go. B O R I S. And I'm going to put the date, which is 2020. Over there. And just like that, we're done. Oh, wait. Forgot some yellow up here. I always forget a spot. And there we go. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for all your comments. I go back and read them if I don't see them live here. But uh, join us again on Thursday. Put in your request for what you want to draw. And I'll be back with you. Noon Eastern Time. All right? Stay healthy. Keep having fun. Practice your drawing and show me what you drew. All right? Have a good day.